Suburban Sentinel here with a first look at a new acquisition. On the screen in front of you is a Remington 870P Max 12 gauge pump action shotgun. This is one of the law enforcement editions of the venerable 870 series shotguns that's been in production for more than 50 years now. I purchased this particular shotgun for inner zone home defense, meaning that this is my preferred weapon in the event that an intruder somehow gets into the house. The PMAX shotgun features an 18 inch barrel, a plus two mag extension, uh, making the capacity six plus one in the chamber using standard shells and five plus one with magnum shells. The PMAX also features a heavy duty Davis speed feed stock with a shortened length of pull and a very sticky recoil absorbing butt pad from Remington. Sighting is by way of a Wilson Combat Ghost Ring Rear and an XS brand sight in the front. The most notable feature of this model is the Surefire Forend with integrated weapons light. According to Remington, the law enforcement additions of their shotguns are built for more severe duty and with more reliable parts. And I guess Wiley the cat got in on the last frame, but he's okay. Also, according to Remington, each police variant shotgun gets more hands-on attention at the factory and goes through additional inspections. The law enforcement additions from Remington are somewhat controversial. Uh, many gun owners assert or argue that a standard Remington 870 Express can be upgraded for just a few dollars worth of parts and the, the rest of it is inconsequential. Note that the price difference between a Pmax and a standard equipped 870 Express is substantial. The street price on the Pmax is currently around a thousand dollars which is more than double the price of a plain Jane Remington 870. I bought this gun as the absolute last line of defense for my family against an intruder. So I wanted the utmost reliability possible. It certainly seems that those with an in-depth knowledge of Remington shotguns could upgrade uh, a standard 870 to be as reliable as the Pmax purportedly is. However, given that I am not an expert and I am not a gunsmith, I elected to let Remington do the work for me, and at least to me, it was worth the extra money. I bought this particular shotgun new in box for just about $750 plus tax. And the reason this was lower priced than the average 870 P Max is that this is an older model. I believe this one is about two and a half to three years old. And the difference is that this older model has an incandescent Surefire light, whereas newer models have LEDs. The LED upgrade on the flashlight is probably gonna run around $90. Before I modify anything, I, of course, want to do a break-in and reliability proof test on this gun. So tonight I'm going to strip this shotgun down and treat it with frog lube for the initial break-in. And then hopefully over the weekend, 
I'll be able to spend some time turning gunpowder into noise with this Remington 870 Pmax. After I've had some time shooting it, uh, I'll run a full review on this gun. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and shoot safely, everybody.